Okay guys, welcome to my guide. Just do a quick update, a quick uh, guide on how to run the mushroom caps. So just a quick reference to start. To get mushroom caps, you actually need 65 wood cutting to the solar system mushroom, mushroom trees, caps, the same thing. You need to be a member, level 65 wood cutting, highly recommend it. I was actually cutting teaks for quite a while. Teaks are level 50 wood cutting, I'm pretty sure, might be less. Cutting teaks for quite a while, and it turns out that teak trees are actually a little bit slower, in my opinion. I found out I was getting about one level, maybe an hour, a little less than an hour, while I was doing mushroom trees. So I'm going to show you the walkthrough now and how it works. To start, you guys are going to need a dig site pendant, an axe, preferably something that gives you some run boost, but you don't exactly need it. I do it just for safety. A lot of people also use a bulwark shield because it's easier. It makes it so that way you don't have to get as hit as much from these enemies that are level 109 to 114. But we'll get to that later. So you need a rake, axe, and then I bring some cerebrus just for the bonus health and because it's easier. If you want, you can bring sharks. That's up to you. This is my preference. So to start, you want to rub your dig site pendant, and you want to teleport to dig site. Perfect. It's here. I'm already here, just showing you for example. And you want to quick travel on the barge guard and go to... Fossil Island. Awesome. Now that you're in Fossil Island, if you don't have your stuff, there's a bank right over here on the minimap. Use a bank chest. When you're ready, run west and go over to the where the first birdhouse is. If you guys aren't doing birdhouses by this point, I highly recommend doing it, especially because it's tons of XP per, level, per run. I get about 4.24 K of XP per run, so my next run I'm only going to be about 54 XP from the next hunter level. And I started Birdhouse at level 50, and I've gotten all my levels from this. I actually have a quick guide on my birdhouses. Here's actually a quick 45 runs of what it looked like. Um, ignore the XP, I don't have an update of that, but we got about 1.7 million, 1.6 million gold, uh, gold just from doing 45 runs, and that's switching from Mahogany to you. It doesn't include my first few runs, so this isn't exact from 50 to 62. But it's, it's pretty close. Um, but yeah, here to start. Awesome. All right, so let's get started. So first thing you do is want to run over here. You're going to see that none of these mushrooms are started. My assumption is that your first mushroom is always going to be by the mushroom cap that teleports you. So what I recommend is using this rubber mushroom cap here. But be careful because you're about to take about anywhere between 38 to 50 damage. Right? So let's take it now. It's going to ask you when you first do it, and you're going to take some damage. However, if you see here, I actually have these mushrooms that are here. So every time you run, the first run you take about 40 damage, but to not take damage, all you have to do is cut these mushrooms and put them in this fill as mud pit. You see here, fill mud pit. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to cut about 9 mushrooms. It takes 9 mushrooms per run to fill the mud pit. Awesome. I already got a small fossil. We'll work from there. So what's going to happen here is there's about six mushroom caps we're going to do, and we're going to run from each one to get our, uh, our XP. And the reason that I find these mushroom caps so useful is that you get fossils, you get 125 XP. Let's check it when it comes up in a second. 127 XP per hit, plus you're going to accumulate. So if you like to do things on fossil island that require it, I highly recommend it. And at the same time, you're getting other little items as well. So the fossils help a lot. So how I picture it is, I'm getting almost a level of woodcutting per hour since I've started at 65. So I've done three levels and basically one per hour, a little less than an hour for the first two. And then at the same time, I'm also getting fossils. So it's almost like double XP. I use all of my fossils on runecrafting. I don't like trying to training runecrafting at all. Um, so now I have six, seven, eight, nine mushrooms. I'm filling the mud pit, so next time you land, you won't take any damage at all. And keep cutting here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk through the guide. I'm probably going to speed it up at this point, may or may not, just to show you how fast this whole guide is. If you're here too, I highly recommend just literally clicking this mushroom cap as you're about to open up a new teleport uh, transportation system once you're here. Also keep in note, I actually forgot my anti-poison, and these trees are going to hit you and poison you. So I highly recommend bringing Antidote XX, but I'll add that to the video later. So I'm dealing with the pain now, because I forgot. 
the worst do is you can't dodge it, so you saw I ran past you, and that's why I got hit. Unfortunately, how it works is you're going to see that the next run we're about to make, once this tree dies, is going to really hurt us. It's going to poison us almost every time, guaranteed. Okay, so I killed the first one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to run south, and then you're going to run west. Here's our first mud golem, level 132. Make sure you just chop this vine and run. Drink a sour potion when needed. Help boost your defense a little bit. Expect to be hit by this. Oh, I got lucky. I'm ready to poison, so I guess it doesn't care. And then drink some potion, get your health back up. Now, it depends how you want to do, how you want to make this run. I personally don't really care about the money. I'm here for the XP. So I'm not going to keep all the Mortmire fungus or mushrooms, but you can. The mushrooms, I'll show you in a second. Mushrooms are valued at 212 each, while the Mortmire fungus is 548, right? So if you want to run back and forth, you can. What happens is you just do a full run and at the end keep what you want, or what you can do is you can run back out to that mushroom that you clicked on before for the teleportation system, and as long as you've clicked another mushroom, you can teleport there and then run to the bed. But that's up to you. Um, so, so far in this run, I've only killed two trees, and I already have two fossils. For small fossils, you get 2,000 experience. For five, when you bring them to the Varrock, you have to clean them in the dig site, which I'll show you later at the end of the video. And then you bring them actually to the Varrock Curator in the bot or the Varrock Museum basement, below the level of the original fossils, because there's a whole new level just for Fossil Island, but I'll show you guys. Oh, I got a rare fossil. That's awesome. All right, so here's the second route. You're going to run north and then run east, and you're going to see it in the solar cap over here. A mud golem is going to attack me right here. Yep, exactly. Right here. All right, that guy actually hurt. I'm going to eat the sour brew down. Look at my fossil here, just so nothing else goes there. All right. So we still have three more mushroom caps on this run. Unfortunately, I did not calculate the XP for this run. Sorry, guys. But as you see here, I've been doing this run for a few hours now. I think two or three hours. I got three levels, so about three hours. I started at around 11. Uh, and I got about 60k to 65k XP an hour on average. This one died really early. Kind of unlucky. You can also bring two. Is a lot of people just bring a few sharks in the beginning. And then once your run gets down and you find a few people in your world, these monsters actually stop attacking you. So I'm not sure if there's a professional world or... A world dedicated to these, but if you find people in your world, it's extremely useful for keeping your HP higher. Drink a few potions here so I don't die. So this is actually the fourth spot. So we've hit one, which is next to the mushroom pod. The second one is south of that one. The third one is a little bit west, and then you run north and a little bit east, which one we just at. And now we're at the fourth one, which is west and north of the one we were just at. Northwest of the one we were just at. See how long this one takes. My bar is almost ready. You see here, I was at I was down about 60k XP an hour. It's going back up. It's also because I was before coming here. I did make a run to the bank, so I don't know if this XP is exactly accurate. But I'm going to say I'm getting about 60 between 60 and 70,000 XP an hour. And sometimes too, you guys see I only get like four or five here. A lot of the runs, sometimes I get two full inventories of 20 spaces or 16 spaces, which is useful. So we're going to run north now. This is the fifth spot. We're going to get this fifth skull cap here. I wouldn't kill or attack these things. I'm pretty sure the snakes poison you. Actually, no, the snakes can actually can be used on the golems that pop up, the mud golems, which is where the swamp bubbles appear, and they, they pop them up there. Um, and they can use actually root them so they can't move. So if you want, you can kill these and collect, their, collect the snakes so you can root the golems so they don't attack you. Um, but that's up to you. That's a little bit more time that I'd be willing to spend. I'm just trying to rush some wood cutting XP. But each on preference. If you're trying to rush for fossils, I think this is one of the fastest fossils muscle fast, fast, fastest fossil methods that I've found. Unfortunately though, I haven't been killing the weaverns or the deranged archaeologists, archaeologists, so I can't really say. And just for an example too, I'm gonna to run back to the beginning just to show you guys how to teleport out if you guys are interested. And that'll probably be the end of my guide. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys' opinion is, um, if you guys need any help at all. And then uh, always feel free to drop into my CC, 
My name is I'm So Hordy. As you see here, come in and hang out. Love if you guys drop by, give some feedback. Each is on you. Awesome. So I'm getting a little bit more from this one. Still not as I usually get. I feel like I get more. Um, but we'll see. Don't worry about the poison. I'm not going to die. I won't worry about it at all. I'm also going to save these nine buttercap, buttercap mushrooms so I don't have to go back and do it again. I don't have to kill the first plant I see. So I'm just going to save nine here. Um, but you see just from one run, I got a rare fossil, medium, large, and three small. And again, you need five small fossils for 2k of XP. You need one. You need five large fossils for 5k of XP as well. For anything over level, I think it's 40. Medium fossils are used. You get five, and you get 4k of XP for anything over level 30. Smalls are over level 20. And then I don't know about rare fossils. I'm pretty sure rare fossils are like seven and a half k of experience, but I'm not entirely sure. So don't quote me on that one. And I tried looking up a guide to see if they knew, but they haven't. So. When it comes to B, I will post in the comments below this video, and I'll let you know how much the rare fossils are worth. I only have two so far. This is my second, so I get five. I'll get back to you guys. Uh, yeah, like I said, I just started this today. That was an awesome video, uh, awesome, awesome video, awesome uh, method to get fossils and to get wood gains. Be a little bit more than what I think Teeks would offer. These guys really give me a lot. Nice. So far in this run, I've gotten seven fossils. That's crazy. From one run. You can't kill that many Weaverns in a run, probably, depending on your level, to get that many fossils in a run, especially with their drops. So pretty... Oh, wait, I want to save those. I'll get more. So pretty pretty good run. Pretty excited here. I'm just trying to wait to come on that rubber cap so I can go ahead and teleport, kind of run back. I'll also show you on the way back that there's a bird nest birdhouse just north of where we're about to teleport, which is really convenient as well. Probably speed up the video here too, so you guys have to see me woodcut for the next five minutes. Awesome, finally done. Alright, so now we've finished cutting the mesh caps. Oops, I have to go grab and grab some. So I want nine by the time I get back to here to put them back inside the pit. So let's see what we got here. I think I left up nine spots. Yep, that was a ten. Awesome, so I'm running on. Running here, jumping back on the mushroom cap. So it's helpful to be back down to the bottom. Awesome, not going to take any damage because I have them ready. Great, I can see everything now. Put the mushroom cast on to be safe for the next run. And after you get your run, you can save everything and do it either start again or head to Mushroom Meadow, which I think is the fastest in my opinion. If you have it shown, if you don't have it shown, it means you have to run here beforehand and get it. So when you get to Fossa and you get here, you're going to want to run north 
to this spot where I am now, right west of this hunter training area, and click on this mushroom here. The other spot is you're going to want to run from this transportation down to this one. You're going to run to the fossil area and south to the pit. You're going to click on that mushroom and it'll give you the access to that spot. The last one is in this house right here. You're just going to run to this or you can run to this hunting training area, so run from the transportation area west a little bit, go around north. So you're going to pass by two hunter training spots, go around the bridge through the agility shortcut to the house, and you're going to use that mushroom pot. And that'll give you all four mushrooms, so you can transport all around the island. Now for convenience, I'm going to run back, and I'm going to show you how to clean some fossils. If you haven't done it before, I'm going to show you just from scratch. I'm going to grab all the items so that way I can actually clean them. I'll show you how it works. Fortunately, right before this trip, I actually just dropped everything off at the Vrock basement so you won't see anything new in here. Drop these bad boys off. Put the lights away. Fossil here. Actually, I need to use these anyway. It doesn't matter. Awesome. All five. So once you see I have all five inventory, I just want to put the mushrooms away. You're going to take all tools. Actually, before I do this really quick, to make a quick note, the rake I did not use. I don't think. But there's a there's usually like little fossil like little uh, vines in the ground, and they'll stop you from running by. You use the rake to go over them. But that's why the rake is there. If you have an inventory anyway, you probably won't even notice. All right, so to get started here, go to this crate, do take all tools. You have to put on the leather gloves and boots. So you need leather gloves and boots to do this. You need the trowel, the rock pick, and the specimen brush. All you have to do is click your fossil, use it on the table, and it'll automatically go, so I don't have to click again. Automatically come up. Awesome. Use my large on the table. Use both my medium. Great, and then use my rare. Awesome, so they're all done. I'm gonna run to the bank chest. Thank you, sir, good job. I'm gonna run to the bank chest. Get a home teleport, go back to Varrock. Now you want to actually teleport to the rock, not the Grand Exchange. It's a little bit further to go to the Grand Exchange. You're going to run east. You're going to run over to the Rock Museum, which is north of the training dummying areas, or dummy training area. You walk downstairs. And here's the two things. I'm going to say it's two-piece. There's two stairs you can go down. You're going to be in this first area, and you're going to go down again to the second stairs, and you'll be here. So every time, if you don't have enough fossils, but you did get them, you can grab all your fossils out of here to see what you have. So you got, right? So I know I have two rare fossils. So I'm going to put two both rare in here. I don't have enough. So I'm going to see if I have a set of anything. I'm going to put all my rare fossils in. Awesome. So it looks like I don't have enough for the small. Oh, no, I do have enough. So I, I can make one small. I need two for medium. I need four for the large. I need three for plant and four for the rare. Keep in mind that the large fossils can turn into two different fossils. It can be large or the plant. So you have a 50% chance for either. It's all just based on luck. So for this circumstance, I'm gonna take out one of each foot small. Oops, took that one already. I'm gonna run down to this area over here. I think I have one left over here for small. No, I ran out of small here. Alright, so you see I put in four small already, I put in a large and a plant over here. See if there's a small one over here, yep, perfect. So we're into the small plant, you're going to put all five in. Two, three, you have to click each time, this one's not automatic. Five, perfect. And it automatically gives you a lamp. Okay, thanks guys, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and uh, have a good day.